you guys welcome back to the channel it's sue here back with another great video i am so happy you're watching as you can tell by the title we're talking about the reasons people stare why are they staring i know right it's strange now everybody gets this stare from time to time but i'm talking about the stare it's like happening so often that it's not normal and you're wondering what's going on you're probably like, um, are my clothes fixed properly? Or is there something, my underwear showing? Like, what is going on? Is there something hanging from my face? Like, what? What? We're going to dive into that today. And so I just want you to hit that like, hit the subscribe button, comment, definitely in the comment section. So we can get into it. Lately, I've been seeing so many people like as i'm just doing my normal business i'm going to the store i'm crossing the street i'm at work i'm eating i'm whatever and you just feel this pull you feel something is like watching you and you're like i know i'm not spazzing out i know i'm not having a mental breakdown there is I was normal and perfectly fine just before it and then all of a sudden it's like the fork is like missing my mouth or dropping the food out of my mouth something is going on that tells me there's some strong energy like focused my way so okay it's all fine and well um, one of the main reasons it could be of course if you are a confident person if you have any sense of self-esteem and self-confidence you're thinking okay well i look good this is why i go out and look my best sharp all the time so that when people see me they're gonna stare because i look hella good right you are attractive fine and well that's the basis of it a lot of times a lot of times <laughs> don't think overly highly of yourself but of course you know you do your best you put your best foot forward when you go out you look good okay two you're different you're very different <laughs> and people stare because of this people are looking at you like wow like is she from here why does she talk like that <laughs> or why is she so happy or so energetic so upbeat so outgoing so vibrant so high vibing like people see that you guys people see that and people are literally fascinated by it I kid you not number three I'm gonna get back to these points. I'm gonna get back to them. So be patient. This video is not gonna be very long, but I would like for you to watch it until the end because, you know, dropping some gems today that like I normally or I have not, let me say, have not done for a little bit. So the third reason, as you know, we are energetic beings. As you know, we have a particular aura about us like our presence basically speaks for itself without you saying a word you can walk into a room and people feel you out right so this is a lot of the time this is the third reason why people could be staring they don't know you from a can of paint not comparing you my darling my beloved to a can of paint okay you are a high vibrational spiritual being being human however there's something about your presence that people are drawn to and they can't stop looking you may look and they may look away you may look again and they may look away the third time you catch them they were caught off guard they couldn't look away they just you lock eyes and it's like hi that's what I tend to do the other day I'm sitting down I'm eating and this guy he turns to face like somebody else he's sitting with eating well they're not eating and he turns to face my direction while he talks to the other guy and i'm like trying my darndest to eat i'm like okay mm, this is good yum yum and every time i look up it's like the fork is like this like i'm like 
look up and this guy is talking and he's like right in my face and I'm like hi so I ignored it the first couple times after a while I said hi how are you and he's like good 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 I said you should be even better now you enjoyed watching me eat this whole time and <laughs> he was like oh I I was looking at you but like I wasn't looking at you but I was looking at you and I'm like I know I know so sometimes just to throw that in there sometimes they're not really looking at you sometimes they're so engaged in conversation and in deep thought their eyes that energetic presence still kind of locks their eyes on you but their mind is somewhere completely different that's 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 the one of the least common reasons I think it happens a lot but it's one of the least um, what's the word I'm looking for serious reasons okay so next upon this list there's number four there are those people who are looking at you and they're looking at you with intention of trying to understand you they're trying to feel you out they're trying to see what is it that's so magnetic about you that they probably don't have in other words jealousy jealousy some people look at you with an evil eye some people are not even aware of what they're doing because based on their vibration whatever this there is going on within them when they look at you or when you look back at them you're gonna feel that it's like the evil eye you're gonna feel that it's like hatred or extreme dislike but they look at you like with the stink eye, like, like you stole their man or something, and you're like, okay, who is this person? <laughs> I get this all the time, walking down the street, and there are people on the red light, like on in traffic, like they are literally, the light has turned green, and they were not going to pull out the cars in the back of them, and like, pump, like get out of the way, and they're like, and I'm like, <laughs> WTF, what's going on, man? And I keep a smile on my face and keep it moving. But then deep down inside, I know, like I said, you know, you just know. And as a particular person choosing to call yourself a chosen one, there are some telltale signs that there is something magnificent about you, that is something extra special about you. like. Everyone is not always created equally. Like there are different components, there are different traits, there are different values, there are different characteristics, different personalities, different energies that we put out there that makes us different. And so don't think this video is anywhere staring towards negativity because darling, it's not, <laughs> it never is. But I'm saying own your presence own your light I know walking around with some people they're like oh my god I feel like people are looking at me I feel like people are staring at me or why are they staring at me and I'm like own that shit that's you because you have something that they like you have something even if they don't like you they don't like you based off of something that you have that they don't have and they like it and they want to have it too you know what I mean? Like it could be something as simple as an outfit. It can be your hairstyle. It can be your jewelry. It can be your partner. It could be a lot of things. So as a self-confident person, I would urge you not to stress too much about this. Continue to shine your light. You're like a diamond just glistening in the light, right? Just sparkling and people are noticing that. That is good. That is a good thing. However, you have to be careful because some people out there do not have the good, the best intentions for you. And there are some people who are very evil. <laughs> they don't want to see you smiling. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you make it or succeed. They don't want to see you have the bag. They want to take that from you. Don't let go. I'm just like, yo, what's going on with you? What's happening? Like some people, they are not married they don't have any kids, they're not even 40 yet, and I'm like, what's wrong? <laughs> Why are you so tired? And, and 
you know, of course, I don't want to help people. I don't want to go out there forcing my suggestions and my advice um, unwarranted. So, but it's it's concern for me. And back to the topic of why people stare. A lot of the times, these are the kinds of people who they deal with on a regular basis. And so, when they see you moving around so actively, they see you not puffing and puffing, not anything. You're just going, and you're still like you're not going like a robot or like an automaton, you're going at the beat of your own drum, but you're still going. This is amazing. And so I think this is a quality that each and every one of us should develop, whether people stare or not. You know, you know that you are gifted with something extremely powerful and something that other people need to be a part of, something that other people could share in, something that you actually have the ability to shine on those around you. Ouch! So anyways, you guys, that is all I have to say for today on this topic. I want to start leaving some shout outs on this channel. And so today I'm going to start out with somebody who I just got as a new subscriber, somebody who's new to the channel completely. And so you guys, gang gang, all know me already. Those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. So this shout out today is going to go to Sid. What's up? What's poppin'? I'm so happy you joined the channel. This is the Spirit Fam. Say Spirit Gang. This is me back at you guys. Hit like, hit subscribe, comment in the comment section below. And until I come back, I'm going to say peace out. Bye.